All right, everybody. The question of the day on this beautiful Saturday morning is, are you edging your lawn efficiently? Stick around and we'll discuss. <music> Okay, let me preface this by saying I am well aware that 99% of the people who mow lawns will say, who really cares? I get that. Most people just want to get it done and not do it anymore. I got that. However, if you're watching this video, I have to believe that you are not dissimilar to me in that it's not just the getting it done, it's the how you get it done. So for me, the how you get it done is all about efficiency. Um, those of you who watch my lawn mowing video will know that I'm an industrial engineer. And so efficiency to me is all about minimizing non-value added activities. Sorry, there's, it's 7.30 and everybody's going to work. Um, background noise. So the minimizing of non-value added activities to me is value. So I will look for any way that I can to minimize non-value added activities so that I can do a task better and more efficiently. Um, I understand that not a lot of people will care and for this one I don't have data. It doesn't, it not significantly different in the manner and in the time and whatnot, but to me it feels better. You know, I, I, I'm not backtracking, I'm not wandering around, you know, cutting across my lawn to, to do something. So the non-value added activity here to me is walking when I'm not cutting. So everything to me, if I'm walking, I should be cutting. So that's what I've looked to do in, in edging my lawn. So let's go inside, I'll bring up the computer screen, I've got the trusty, uh, PowerPoint of my house again and I'll, we'll draw some arrows and we'll talk it out and that way I can sit inside where it's not 7,000 degrees at 7 o'clock in the morning so uh, let's go inside we'll talk it out all right welcome inside to where it's not 9,000 degrees <clears throat> so those of you who have seen my um, mowing video will recognize this this is a little layout of my house so what I wanted to do is just kind of talk about minimization of the non-value added activities. So for me, a non-value added activity is going without, is walking without uh, actually doing anything. So it's really weird because what I do is all my stuff's back here in the back of the house, but I come all the way out to the very front of the, of the, the street and start over here. So what I do is I, this is my method. So as you'll see, I go out and back and up and down. This red line here is the only time I walk without uh, actually doing anything until I have to cross the, uh, cross the driveway here. So that's the way I do it. I've taken times here and there and really it only saves me including the walking and everything and the starting and the stopping and the going, it only saves me about 10 seconds. So really, it's not a lot of time. Uh, on average, I think it's 10. It's taken me upwards of uh, 20, but I think the average is like 10 seconds. So really, it's not significantly different, but it makes me feel better. Um, I will say, if I didn't have to take that line back uh, in front of the house, I could go completely around without having to uh, backtrack at all. So that's why I wanted to include the neighbor's house. And for those of you who are asked, have asked in the past, I'd mow both mine and my neighbor's yard. He's an elderly gentleman and I mow his yard for him. So that's why I've got access to his yard and stuff. So it's not, uh, it's not me trying to 
tell my neighbor what to do. It's me trying to save a few minutes here and there on my own. Um, I will say, for my yard, it doesn't make a lot of difference. So either I backtrack here or I go here and I backtrack and then I go back this way. So either way, I've got to backtrack in my yard. My neighbor's yard, interestingly enough, he is without a sidewalk here. Um, the little bit where I have to backtrack here for me, this are, these are all flower beds, so I don't have to edge that. The neighbor's yard, I can actually edge this little bit of the sidewalk. So this is the way I start with him. I still start in this far corner over here, and as you'll see, go all the way, do the boulevard, do the sidewalk, up the sidewalk, down the sidewalk, finish the sidewalk, driveway, sidewalk, driveway. So this in my neighbor's yard, I found if I don't start in the right spot, if I start over here, oops, let's do that again, it's the end of my presentation. So if I start over on by the driveway with the neighbor, it actually takes me about five minutes more because of all the backtrack walking that I have to do. Um, it is really important to me because I do this, I, we both have St. Augustine lawns and in the, the uh, fall and the spring, I have to mow twice a week. So it really is something that I would like to save a bit of time at because this isn't my job. You know, if, if it were my job, um, and I just got paid by the yard, it would be different, but well, even then, maybe I might want to want to mow uh, as an edge as efficiently as I could then too. But regardless, this is my little method. So what I actually do is I just look at my layout. I like to look at my layout and I try to come up with the best way possible to minimize any overlap, any walking time where I'm not edging. And I, I am happy because I've mowed a lot of yards in my life. And I've gotten actually pretty good at this. This is the first time I've ever actually been able to come up with a method to not backtrack any at all. Um, I think I got lucky on the layout of my neighbor's yard. But there you go. A more efficient way to look at edging your yard. Not saying this is a perfect way, but a good way to start looking at, am I doing things the most efficient way possible? All right. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. I've gotten a lot of comments on the previous video, uh, which I'll post here is the, uh, the lawn mowing video. I will tell you, I've gotten a lot better at this. I'm a lot more efficient. That video is, is kind of long, so sorry about that. But the lawn mowing efficiency is up there in the in the corner. Like and subscribe here on the bottom right. And hope you enjoyed it. If you have an efficiency way of edging your lawn, let me know. If I can improve, I want to improve. So let me know. 